How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I wanted to do the math on this. This is a cryptocurrency that I think could do huge returns during the next bull run. And I want to walk you through it. I've already talked about it a handful of times, but this is one of the bets that I have going into the next bull run. And I'll explain towards the end of the video why I think Bitcoin dominance might be going down and why even if you're in Bitcoin, that's okay. But it is a time to get into altcoins. It is a time to look into assets that can produce really good returns. And I do think about it different than Bitcoin. These are riskier, but they also have huge potential. So today I want to talk you talk to you about Syncus. Syncus is a cryptocurrency that just over last month is up 200% at 3x. And if you want to pick it from the, exa the exact bottom, it's up 6x from just about two weeks ago. Now, I still think this is early days for Syncus. And I am an owner of Syncus. I think it can do quite well. I'm holding my Syncus tokens. And I'm actually staking them on their platform for a nice APY. But I won't walk you through it. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this one. And I do want to apologize. My voice is a little bit weird. Uh, getting something in my system right now. But we're going to push through it. So Syncus is up a huge amount. If you didn't know, uh, you can buy it over on Uniswap. This is a cryptocurrency I hold and one that I'll probably keep on talking about because I talk about cryptos that I like. I'm not being paid to talk about this, but I own the token. The market cap right now is about 17.6 million. Now, if you go over to their website, I think it's actually a little bit more. I think that's the circulating market cap right now. But recently, they announced that they're going to do this mega airdrop and they're doing something a little bit different. So this is, to be clear, this is a uh, DeFi token. They're rolling out a borrowing and lending program. Uh, platform soon. We'll talk about that. But they have a couple things that make them very attractive that kind of it's like a flywheel for the price. One thing that they're going to do is this mega airdrop. And instead of airdropping to a bunch of people that maybe have used their platform, what they're trying to do is get more people in to sync us. So they're they're airdropping to different communities, pudgy penguins, little pudgies, board API club, uh, mutant API club, sappy seals, wrecked guy and they're doing this with some of the fees that they've gotten uh so they they basically have some selling and buying fees or some selling fees and they use that treasury to go buy back syncus tokens they use it for maybe some airdrops they use it for a variety of different things now <clears throat> the cool thing about this is this can cause the price to go up they say they kind of explain their airdrop strategy here will airdropping so many people cause the price of sync to crash no let's run the numbers the treasury holds about nine million dollars worth of assets at current prices keep in mind that's a huge amount uh, when you look at how big the market cap is this nine million dollar uh treasury will be used for sync buybacks the previous crypto cycles had a lot of projects doing buyback and burn in our view the model is outdated what if there's a better model that yields better returns here's the new buyback and airdrop model um, that they are talking about buybacks compared with airdrops or uh, buybacks paired with airdrops are aimed at expanding the communities instead of burning for short term value. The cycle of growth through the word of mouth marketing is a deliberate strat strategic move that will grow Syncus ecosystem faster than anything else. The flywheel uh, mechanic works as the following buyback of sync tokens from treasury funds airdrop to different communities increase user base, protocol growth. So keep in mind that they're buying back sync tokens in the buy the tokens that they buy back or what they're airdropping. And when you think about that, okay, they're buying back the tokens, so it's going to push up the price when they buy back the tokens. And then they're airdropping to different communities. Some people will never touch those tokens. Some people will get those tokens and sell them. And then some people will get those tokens and then probably look at it and buy some tokens themselves. So this increases their user their user base and they can continue to grow the protocol and then repeat. This is kind of an interesting thing because a lot of people would say, well, I'm not going to airdrop to other communities because they'll just go sell. But that's only a portion of the people that actually do that. By continuously reinvesting through buybacks and uh, uh, redistributing value to users via airdrops, Syncus creates an exponential growth loop. Each action feeds into the next, attracting more users, increasing the demand for the token, and ultimately driving up its value. This will not be our last airdrop. 
we have our sites on various different communities. Now, I'll leave links to this all underneath the video. I don't know if I said that earlier, but right now you can follow them over on Twitter. They have about 20,000 followers. You can also stake your tokens. So as you can see here, I'm gonna approve some staking here just to show you how easy it is. Again, I'll leave a link to this underneath the video. You just have to have a little bit of Ethereum in there. As you can see here, I staked about 361,000 V-Sync tokens. And you can see some of my rewards here. It actually pays out really well right now. Of course, this will probably lower over time. So you wanna do this now. And if you use my link underneath the video, you can actually get a rebate on some of your sync tokens. It basically will allow you to make more money in the end, get more sync tokens back. So definitely check this out underneath the video. This is their staking platform and they are going to have a uh, new platform here sooner. They're adding onto it a borrowing and lending platform, which will give you some more liquidity, which will be nice as well. Now, why am I bringing this up as someone that's really invested in Bitcoin? Well, I still think there's a time to invest in altcoins. As you can see here, there's a lot going on. But this is the Bitcoin dominance chart. It basically shows, okay, well, Bitcoin became much more valuable versus a lot of other currencies, a lot of other cryptocurrencies until it peaked out about 55.2%. Then it's just been slowly going down. Like if we, if we go here, we have lower highs and some lower lows as well which is typically bearish. We never got to this big trend line that goes back a couple different cycles. This massive one here, we were very close to it, but we fell short. Maybe we go up to it, but I, I don't see that necessarily happening. And then we also have some resistance at this prior support level as well, even if we can move up further. So there's just a lot of resistance around this area. And I, and I am someone that's very bullish on Bitcoin. But I'm also someone that thinks that honestly, Bitcoin dominance could go down and I'd still want to hold Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the least risky. And even if there are other altcoins are swallowing up, well, you have to pick the right ones. And a lot of people just want like that nice 2x gain in Bitcoin. Now, if you want better than that, you have to pick the right altcoins. And obviously, Syncus is doing something right. You can also see something interesting here too. I don't know if you already signed up for HG Algo, but there's a link to it underneath the video. It helps you with dollar cost averaging into the market and dollar cost averaging out of the market. This is obviously a chart of Bitcoin dominance and you can't necessarily invest in Bitcoin dominance, but you can move around your portfolio either in Bitcoin or alts to reflect that. As you can see here, it said the dollar cost to average in right here, like right at the bottom of Bitcoin dominance. Of course, we felt like another percent or something like that, but it said like, okay, this is a good time to be buying Bitcoin essentially. And it said the dollar cost to average out right towards the top within like a percent of the top too. So basically, hey, you might want a dollar cost average into Bitcoin. You might want a dollar cost average out of Bitcoin into alts is basically how that breaks down, which is kind of interesting. There's also a very similar pattern on Ethereum dominance too. You can see it said that you might want a dollar cost average like into Ethereum right here. And then we've had a move up <laughs> overall though, just lower highs and lower lows up until recently where we showed some strength. Ethereum starting to break out versus Bitcoin, which tells you, that there might be a huge, crazy altcoin season. And Syncus seems to be doing everything right. Of course, it is small. Like it's sub $20 million market cap right now. So make sure you do your own research. But I think this is one that could do quite well. You can see it's available on Uniswap, but that's like one of the only places it's actually available. They start getting some big launches. They continue to get more people in here. They continue to have that flywheel effect and this could do quite well. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I appreciate it. I will see you in the next one.